A celestial spectacle will happen overnight. A full moon, a super moon, and a total lunar eclipse are all set to occur on the same day. Tonight, 7 First Alert meteorologist Michelle McLeod is going in depth, and giving us a crash course on this rare lunar trifecta and when you'll want to have those cameras ready. I'm 7 First Alert meteorologist Michelle McLeod, and we have to talk about a full moon tonight. We have another full moon. This one's a little different, though. It is the flower moon, yes, but as well, it's a super moon. It's going to look 7% bigger than normal. You'll be able to see this when it's on the horizon. It definitely looks bigger. But as it goes up into the sky, you're not really going to notice too much of a difference. And the reason why it looks different, it's because of the Earth's position in relationship to the moon with its orbit. It's a little bit closer, which is why you're seeing that difference in the size, again, on the horizon. Now let's take a look at some more stats on this. It's also 15% brighter than normal. And the reason why it's called the flower moon is because it's named that way from the Algonquin people. Last year, last month's super moon was the pink moon, and this one is the flower moon. We had two moons back to back. Now it is going to peak for us. It peaks tomorrow morning at 7.14 a.m. Tonight, that's why we're talking about it, because you'll be able to see it overnight. However, you may not be able to see it as we are seeing partly cloudy skies tonight, but if you do get a break in those clouds, make sure to check outside and take a look at that full moon tonight. A super moon, your super moon flower moon, and make sure to take some pictures. Send it to us on See It at 7. There it is, folks. Enjoy.